we have a link to a potential Premier League loanee. It's one that we've been linked with in the past and you've probably noticed by the title and thumbnail of this video. It is Liverpool Football Club player Bobby Clark. Now, he is currently injured as I'm recording this video and his season has been ended with injury with the hope of coming back for pre-season. So for me, he's a player who is not going to be available until late August when the season has already kicked off. But it is a player who I'm very interested in seeing if Derby County can make a deal work. So here is Bobby Clark. He's a player who Derby County have been linked with quite a few times in recent years. And I think the first time was uh, January uh, when Paul Warren was in charge. We ended up getting Tony Springer and Harvey White. I think there was a link back then. Now, the deal did not happen. And obviously, it has not happened since. And we was linked with him in the summer as well. Um, I think someone got injured towards the back end of the transfer window. And this was a link that we had at the time. We ended up bringing Tyrese Fauna. Whether the Bobby Clark deal was in the works or not, I do not know. Um, but... Obviously, he's a supremely talented player and that's why he's played um, in the Carabao Cup final versus Chelsea. It's why he's played for Liverpool's senior side. But shall we take a look into him as a person? Now, obviously, he's 19 years old, born in 2005. He's been in and around the first team at Liverpool for quite some time, really. I've seen the name banded about quite a lot. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner. To stay tuned for all my Derby County transfer target videos, as well as upcoming EFL League One and Skybet Championship videos and potential Euros videos coming your way too. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. In the description, there is a link about joining the channel as a membership. Go and take a look at that. Let me know what you think down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Bobby Clark. If you're a Liverpool fan, let me know everything there is to know about him. Do you think there's a potential this deal gets done or do you think he'll be around the Liverpool first team next season? And I'll now let you get back to the video. And obviously, with his name being banded about, that is because he's been involved in matchday squads. He's, he's played games in the Europa League. He's played games in the Premier League and at the FA, EFL Cup. He's played in all those games and as you can see he's made 14 senior appearances with 423 minutes a senior goal and two senior assists but if we go through his career as a whole he's been at two clubs um Newcastle United and then obviously moved to Liverpool um he's made 88 appearances across those two clubs obviously as I've just mentioned 14 of those being senior appearances with 6400 minutes 423 of those being senior, 19 goals, 15 assists, 12 yellows and one red card. Now, obviously, to be at these clubs and to spend so much time at Liverpool and get play, make so many appearances and even make first-team appearances for Liverpool, he's got to have something about him. Now, what is it that he has about him? Now, he's versatile. He can play on the left, he can play on the right, he can play as a holding midfielder, he can play as a number, a number 10, he can play in those central midfield areas. He can play in all of them. And I think that's something which Paul Warren would love within his squad. I think he's a creative-minded midfielder. And I think he's someone who could add a lot of quality technically into Derby County's midfield. Obviously, currently, as I record this video, um, as I've mentioned in a lot of these videos, because uh, the retained list ain't out yet, but Tyrese Fauna is our only contracted midfielder. And I'm not saying that Tyrese Fauna isn't capable of playing in the championship. He played for Reading and did a fairly decent job, but he wasn't able to break into our midfield during our League One campaign. So we probably do need to improve that area. And obviously, you do have like the likes of Darren Robinson who could potentially break through. You have the likes of Liam Thompson who may get a new contract, Corey Smith, and they're going to need some real quality to challenge them. And I do think Bobby Clark could be that man. And obviously, we, ha we haven't really had a proper creative midfielder in our team since Ravel Morrison. And then... Before Ravel Morrison, it was uh, Mason Mount and Harry Wilson. And that's something that Derby always seemed to have lacked, a proper technician, a proper creative mind in the midfield. Now, don't get me wrong, Max Bird is an impressively technical player. Corey Smith, very technical. Conor Horahan, very technical. But none of them have sort of been the sort of number 10 style technician where you can give them the ball in a tight space and they'll create a chance off their own back or... They'll pick up the ball in deep areas and make something happen. And that's what Derby really need. And hopefully, if Bobby Clark was to sign, that would be something that he could do and a position in which he could uh, make his own throughout uh, a championship campaign. Obviously, 
I don't think he'd come in till late August, in my opinion. It'd obviously be a loan deal. I can't see Derby uh, make, making even a permanent offer for Bobby Clark. I don't think we'd anywhere near be in the budget to try and make that happen. Obviously, as I've mentioned in this video, Derby County have had previous interest in Bobby since uh, Paul Warren came in. Now, I have also mentioned that He's currently out injured, but he should be back for pre-season. Now, I do think that Liverpool want to keep him for pre-season to assess uh, his rehab recovery and assess getting him back to fitness and rebuilding him up. But I do think it'll be maybe a similar situation to that of um, with Ibu Adams, where it's sort of a last day of a window or a uh, Harvey White type deal where they come in on the last day of the window and sort of it's a case of is this the right decision for the club is it the right decision for the player players fit and available let's go and get him some senior football and I do think Bobby Clark would play at Derby and obviously and obviously we look into Derby's squad depth and there's nothing in midfield at the moment obviously Tyrese Fauna but realistically you've still got one maybe two spaces depending on the way Paul Warren decides to set up obviously 4-2-3-1 you've got two places you've got 4-3-3 you've got two places you've got 5-3-2 uh, you've got two places 5-2-3 um, you've got another place so there's lots of positions available for Bobby Clark to take up even in those potential forward areas where he could uh, link up with the likes of Nathaniel Mendes Lang and Corey Blackett Taylor now do I think midfield is a place where Derby need options yes I do think we're going to end up keeping Liam Thompson. Obviously, I've spoke about that in a recent video, so do make sure you check that out on the channel. Um, but for me, there's a lot to talk about with this deal because it would obviously be a deal that would happen later on. So for me, it would depend on what happens elsewhere in the window because if we ended up picking up four championship-level midfielders, then I think it then loses its need, if that makes sense. But then he could come in as a forward um, and play on the right or the left and then, when needs be, drop into midfield. So it's sort of one of those where I don't think he'd have a set spot unless we're allowed to bring him in sort of first week of pre-season. And I think that's why Derby didn't... Well, apart from John Jewell... Well, John Jules and Embleton were late deals and... They weren't right for the... Well, they they would have been brilliant players if they could have stayed fit, but that's a different story. But it's one of those where you, we brought them in late because we had to and they weren't right for the club. So if we can get this deal done as sort of like a an early June, mid-June sort of deal, so he gets through pre-season with us, then I think it could be an incredible deal for the club. I think it could be an incredible deal for him. We've seen what Derby have done with youngsters and we do give opportunities. Now, I think the thing with Paul Warren is if you bring in a Bobby Clark, you shut out a gap for a Darren Robinson or a Ben Radcliffe and even a Cruz Allen or a Niall McAndrew to come through. And I'm not saying that they're anywhere near ready for the first team. By no means am I going to make that assumption because obviously I was at the academy as uh, an analyst a few years ago and very good players, but obviously still very, very raw. They're still all very young players. So there's a long way for them to go in terms of development before they hit the first team. But obviously you had Max Bird break in at 16. You had Louis Sibley break in at 16, 17. You got Liam Thompson came through 18, 19. Cash in 21. So the sort of, there is the opportunity for those players to break through if they show that they're capable. Obviously, Darren Robinson's biggest problem was he had a bit of a stinker versus Chesterfield in pre-season and then, Warren wasn't quite sure about him. Obviously, Dejon Brown hasn't really got a chance and Paul Warren really likes him as a player. So it's going to be interesting to see how this transfer window does play out. Let me know your thoughts on the deal down in the comments. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Do you think Bobby Clark would come in as a forward or a midfielder? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're a Liverpool fan, let me know everything there is to know about Bobby Clark down in the comments and I'll catch you in my next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula 1 and football weekend.